What's up guys? Today I'm dishing up five horror book recommendations in less than five minutes. Let's go. Recommendation number one, Bird Box. This is the post-apocalyptic and debut novel by the writer Josh Mallerman. It follows a pregnant woman named Mallory who must find a way to guide herself and her children to safety despite the threat of an unseen adversary. You see, if the characters look at those unseen antagonists, they go crazy and kill themselves. This one is different from anything else that I have ever read and it's very dark and spooky. Many of the characters are blindfolded in the book so that they don't see the beings that drive them mad and much of the perspective is from that of a blinded character. I found every Everything interesting, fresh, and scary, and there's a sense of urgency that keeps the pace fast and the novel engrossing. Number two, Nosferatu by Joe Hill. An evil monster and man named Charles Manx has the ability to travel between dimensions of reality, and in one particular dimension, he builds this place called Christmas Land, where every day is Christmas and he kidnaps little children and takes them there to live with him forever. Victoria McQueen also has the ability to travel between dimensions and Manx comes for her and her son Wayne. It's up to her to figure out how she's going to deal with the monster before it's too late. This is a deeply imaginative book and a literary one as well. Joe Hill drops tons of literary references within it and I really enjoyed that and it's a longer horror book that I was completely immersed in the entire Time. Number three, Duma Key by Stephen King. Wealthy building contractor Edgar Fremantle barely survives a worksite accident when a crane crushes his truck. Fremantle loses his arm in the accident and has severe head injuries. Subsequently, his life falls apart and he retires to the fictional Floridian Key of Duma to do some paintings and find some peace of mind. While he's on Duma Key, he comes to realize that there are some very dangerous, maybe supernatural natural activity on the island, and he meets some locals, and together they try to figure out what in the heck is going on on Duma Key. This is one of Stephen King's least recognized books and one of his best. It utilizes a unique antagonist and perhaps the coolest cast of Stephen King characters. Number four, Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. A vampire named Louie tells his 200 year long life story to a reporter referred to only as the boy. He recounts his adventures with the vampire Lestat as the two of them wreak havoc in Louisiana and Paris. This is a vampire novel, the first in a series that follows a whole community of vampires and is a horrific adventure that you can enjoy without having to be committed to the latter installments in the series. Anne Rice is a deep thinker and I love the fact that she philosophizes about human and vampire nature while she writes, and I find this one to be quite thought-provoking. Although you can read Interview as a standalone book, I recently finished The Queen of the Damned, which is the third installment in the series, and I am firmly committed to reading them all. Recommendation number five, Fear Nothing by Dean Koontz. Fear Nothing follows 24 hours in a man named Christopher Snow's life as he discovers and attempts to unravel a seemingly endless conspiracy centering on a military compound called Fort Wyvern. It's up to Snow and his friends to figure out what is going on at Fort Wyvern and in the town of Moonlight Bay, California, and it's crazy. Dean Koontz writes with an incredible voice here. It's different than anything else that I've ever read by him, and the characters are really good. This is a subtropical, beautiful, and deadly world created by Kuntz, and a very intriguing one as well. Fear Nothing is a suspenseful horror book and one of my all-time favorites. I've read it twice now. And there you have it, guys, my top five horror books. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.